This is what you will get in your split dome port package. A dome port, a short booklet with some tips and instructions, a mount, a few screws and bolts and a carbon hand grip. The GoPro camera is of course not included. Now let's take a look how the split dome works. First we want to put the GoPro camera inside the housing. To do this we must unscrew both on off screws. When both buttons are unscrewed you can lift the clamp that presses the GoPro housing into the dome and remove the housing. This separate housing keeps your camera safe in an unlikely event of water getting into the dome. It looks very similar to your regular GoPro housing, but it's not. It's specially designed to fit into the split dome port so your regular GoPro housing won't work. Now let's put the GoPro camera inside the housing and close it. The next thing that you need to do is attach the GoPro mount to the top of your carbon hand grip. Make sure you tighten it. Then attach the GoPro housing to the top of the grip and secure it with the supplied screw. You could put the housing into the dome first and then attach the hand grip, but this is the easier way. Make sure that the screw face is left, not right. This gives you better access to the camera on off button. Also make sure that you tighten it really well using the supplied key. This way the dome port will stay in the same position. Before putting your camera into the split dome port, make sure that the rubber gasket inside the opening is clean. Any dirt, sand, hair or other debris can compromise the seal. Now it's time to put the camera into the dome port. Make sure the lens of the housing sits well into the hole. Then close the clamp and tighten it. This way the GoPro housing will be pressed into the dome and the dome port will be sealed. The best way to do this is to squeeze the housing into the dome port with one hand and use the other hand to tighten it. Make sure that both buttons are screwed tight and there is no space left underneath. This is how you assemble the dome port and put the camera in. It's pretty simple, right? Now let's check what all the buttons do. The on off buttons as you have seen are for taking camera in and out of the dome. The top button is your camera shutter button. Side button is your camera setup button. The button at the bottom is your camera on off and mode button. So if I press it, the camera will turn on. The last thing that I want to show you is how to remove the dome from the back plate, in case you want to clean it from the inside. You will need a number 8 Allen key and remove all the 10 screws that hold the dome in place. Use microfiber or similar gentle cloth to clean the dome. Before you reattach the dome back to the back plate, make sure that the rubber gasket is in place and clean off any debris. Then tighten all the screws until you get some resistance, but don't over tighten them, because you can damage the thread. If you're using your split dome port in salt water, then make sure you rinse it with fresh water after the use. It is also recommended to put a neoprene cover over the dome when you're not using it, to protect it from scratches. For more dome port photography tips and tricks, please check our website splitgadgets.com. Have fun using your split dome port, be creative and we'd love to see photos and videos that you came up with. See you in the water.